Good morning, Spirit Sisters. Today we are going to do a stability and strength class. It's going to be a little bit different than what you're used to. We're going to focus this morning on tendons, on ligaments. Um, these are our stabilizers. They help us to stand tall, to walk strong. We're also going to focus on some uh, something you may or may not have been aware of that's inside your body. It's called fascia. This fascia tissue is an interconnective tissue that surrounds all of your muscle groups. And when this tissue, through lack of use, um, it instead of what it does, there's a, imagine many different layers and in between each layer is a uh, liquid. And these tissue need to move smoothly across one another. And when you do not use these tissue uh, very often, they will become gummed up. They will, like your tendons and ligaments, will constrict and they won't stretch. And this fascia tissue will become gummed up and it won't move and operate correctly. And what happens then is you wake up of a morning, you get out of bed and you get, and you feel so stiff all over. I don't know how many times you gals has come into the gym and you've looked at me, I'll say, hey, how are you doing? And you'll repeat back, I'm doing okay, but I'm just so stiff this morning. I really need to work out. So this little, this workout, shouldn't be no longer than 30, 35 minutes or something like that. But anyways, this workout should really, really help you with that. You should hopefully feel very invigorated and ready to attack your day after this workout. So let's get started. So we're just gonna start warming up little by little. Warm up, warm up, warm up. Takes a while to warm up. We're just warming up slowly. This workout's gonna be different than what you're used to, but I hope you will enjoy it. Let's sway back and some forwards now. Way. Start to warm up our upper body. Okay. Stretch those fingers out. Another thing we're going to think about too is we're going to think about our feet, the importance of standing correctly and our hands, our fingers. So we're going to attack uh, those areas also. And I've got to get this fixed to where you'll be able to see my feet. Still not exactly right. I'll just scoot you back a little bit here. Okay, let's pull up. Still warming up our shoulders. So this fascia tissue is all over your body. That's better. All right, now let's go into some little squats. Let's pull it up and down. Still warming up those shoulders. Let's push it back. Grab it, pull it back. Swim it back now, swim. So we're gonna be working the whole body, of course. We're going to be working your muscles. Right, now let's try to work on getting those hip joints a little bit opened up here. Twisting at the waist. 
kicking out. Now let's tap. That attacks those hip joints just a little bit deeper when you tap it down. back a little bit, working the binds. So now you really want to hold here a little bit, focus on the connective tissue in your thighs, back in your glute muscles. And now we're going to round, warming up the back. You can drop your head down. Round again, drop your head down, and let's just sway to the side. Let's see if we can start to work on opening up that connective tissue right along our sides and our backs. A lot of these movements are they, they will put you in the mind of Tai Chi. It's slow, slow and controlled and smooth movements. All right, so now we're gonna come over here and hold. And we're gonna open up. Let's do the other side. Hold and stretch, and stretch, and open up. And let's do the other side again. Hold and open. Okay, let's go with elbows back now. Raise them up. forward and sit down and we're back here and stretch and sit pull it back one more time Toes are pointing outward here. We're just coming up. And we're going to turn a little bit. Up and turn and twist. Working on the connective tissue all around your torso. And let's go other side. And now we're going to see if we can go really, really deep over into it. Remember your range of motion that's right for you. Okay. Now you're going to come over into a side lunge. Lunge. Twist it. Twist it. Twist it. And hold. And breathe. It's really feel a nice stretch here. We're going to bring it up and we're going to go to the other side. We're going to see how far down we can go. Remember your range of motion that's right for you. If you can't come all the way down and tap, that's all right. And bring it up and around and twist. And hold. Let's go other side again, and this time we're going to reach around, we're going to just stretch our fingertips out, really open it up, and let's 
other side of reach. Reach, 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 pointing those fingers. Stretch it out. Pull it up. And we're coming over here. I'm gonna hold and stretch. And that nice long stretch here. And the other side. We get finished with this class, girls. Instead of feeling all stiff, you're gonna feel like you've got a bounce in your step again. Okay, so now we're going to step forward, point the toe forward. Now we're going to bend the knees and we're just going to hold here. Focus on putting the booty back behind you. Now point the toe up. Come back down. And toe is up. So we're working on now some tendons, some ligaments. Sides on that now. Toe is up here. Bring the toe up. Sit it back. Toe is up. Sit it back. back here in the sitting position. Really feel the hamstring stretching. Okay, now you're up and balancing on your toe, going forward. So we're working on stretching um, those tendons and ligaments out. And toe is up and push forward. Now we're going to come out into our sumo. We're going to hold this semi right here. And we're going to come back up nice and slow and easy. Roll those shoulders. Sit it down nice and slow and easy in your sumo. And up. Shrug. Nice and slow down into your sumo. You might can even push side to side. Squeeze those glute muscles up tight here so you can hold it side to side, just gently rocking side to side. Right, let's go a little bit further over now. And a little bit further, the other side. We're working on opening up those inner and outer thighs. Now straighten that leg out. Yeah, good. Sumo. And other side. Straighten the leg out. You really feel a nice inner thigh stretch here. Go back to your sumo. Good job. Stay with me here, girls. Stay with me. These stretches, you will not believe how wonderful you'll feel after this workout. Back to the symbol. All right, now you're going to stretch it out and you're going to point the toe up. Back to your symbol. And stretch and point that toe up again. Now we're going to come out of our sumo. And we're going to step. And you're going to hold right here. 
stretch. Now you're going to feel the tendons and ligaments in your legs work in a different way. Stretch. So what you're doing is you're stepping forward here. Go back down to your cell. Step your feet forward. One foot is in front of the other. Back to your sumo. Oh yeah, these are really good hip openers. I'm starting to feel it. Okay, so now we're going to step back this way. And we're going to do, remember this stretch here? We're going to do this stretch and we're going to twist with it. So you can even just hug like this. And now go back to placing forward. Tuck your tushy under. So that other side. So, this arm comes across now, tuck the tissue under, twist, so you really feel a good inner thigh stretch, hip flexor working on that side. Okay. And hold, round it under. Stretch it open. Open it up. All the way. Draw that little halo around your head. Keep your abs tucked tight here. Come back into that sumo. And now we're coming over this way. We're going to draw. Switch sides. Now we're starting to work on that tissue, shoulders. Really twist and look here. Finish that circle. Really twist and look. Different cow than what we're used to. Tuck the tushy under, round the back. So exhale here. Inhale here. Turn this one foot forward here. Shoulders round. Stand up straight. Round. And open. Round. Open. Don't forget to breathe. Another 
other side. Around. Tuck that tissue under. You don't want it out here. You don't want to be arching the back. You want to be rounding it under. Bring it. So you're going to feel the tissue in your back stretching and opening. Come back to your other side now. Now we're going to come down. We're going to work those arms. Palms are facing up. Now push it back. Triceps. Palms up. Look over your shoulder here. You'll feel it engaged differently. One more. Okay. Other side. Palms are up, engage the biceps. Shhh. Look over your shoulder. Rounding the back. Shhh. Pushing it open. One more. this way. Just open up and hold here. Round it, tucking the tush under. Straightening and elongating the spine. Another side. Curl and tuck your tushy under. Okay, we're going to open up here and hold, soften those elbows. And now straighten them out and soften. So now we're working the connective tissue around your shoulders around your deltoid area. You should feel the movement there. And as always, ladies, remember, if you cannot go as deep into these movements as I'm going, that's okay. Just stick with your range of motion where you need to be at this point in time. Now let's push the palms out. Bring it in. Out, so your fingertips point. Pull it up. Point. You'll feel all kinds of things start to happen through your arms too. I'm noticing my forearms. One more here. needed it. All right. So we're going to step forward. Open up at an angle. Come up. Open up at an angle. 
push it up, and draw your circle. Let's do two on the other side, open. Draw the big circle. Good job. And open. Draw the big circle. Let's go to that other side. Good again. Pull it. Stretch it. Big circle. Pull it. Stretch it. Big circle. Ooh, getting that tissue around the lap muscles there. Yes. Big circle. Pull it. Stretch it. Big circle. Okay, moving on to our feet now. So we're going to try to learn how to use our feet correctly. We're going to turn our foot inward and then step back. You want to focus here on look back a little bit further so you can see what I'm doing here with my feet. Turn it a little bit inward and step back. So, body weight is down and then up. So, toe points to an angle and back. We're going to step out here, stretch, and open it up. Let's step out, draw a little circle and open it up. Now we're working on our hip ball of joint. Trying to clean it out a little bit. Open up those hips. Let's do the other side now. Oh, wait, one more. We're going to come to the side into that little curtsy and then back out. Step it over. and lift. Okay, so now I'm going to step into side lunge here and we're going to reach up and then we're going to come down and we're going to pick up the feather and we're going to let the feather drift away and let's go to our other side. Reach up, come down, pick up your feather, and let it go, 
switch to your other side again. Pick up your feather. Let it drift away. Pick it up and let it drift. Now we're going to reach all the way across with the other arm and bring it up. Let the feather go and circle back around. Take this arm. Pick up your feather. All the way up. Let it go. The reason I'm using the analogy of feather is that I want you to think nice and airy. Smooth, gentle, light, airy movements. Pick up the feather. Let it go. across, pick up the feather, let it go. Now we're going to just cut the air, cut it backwards and forwards. And let's go to the other side. Cut the air, slice the air, Turn on the palms, up and down. Now we use both hands to slice. Good job. And let's just inhale up now for a nice long stretch. Deeper, deeper into that stretch. And then open it up. Look up underneath your arm towards the ceiling. And the other side. Good job, ladies. You've done great today. Deep, deep, deep into that stretch. Look up. You've done so good today. I am so proud of you. Let's round it over. Roll it up one vertebrae at a time. A few shrugs. And again. shrugs and press up and lean and lean and step forward into your lunge and clasp your hands behind your back nice stretch here and then back into your hamstring stretch Little bit deeper. And other side into your hammy and your delt stretch. I hope you enjoyed this workout. I know it's a little bit different than what you're used to. But different is not always a good thing. Changing up your workout and not doing the same thing over and over again, you've heard me say many, many times, will challenge your muscle groups. Today, we're challenging things we're not even thinking about. We're challenging our tendons, our ligaments, and our connective tissue, our fascia. Okay? So I want you to pull your knee up here. Hold with me. Side. Okay, and now we're going to reach back 
and grab her toe. And we'll go straight into dancer's pose if we can. Good job, good job. Wonderful, nice control here. Let's see if we can go straight into our figure four squat. job other side. If you need to stay here, that's fine. You can go on into dancers with me, please do. Good job. You looked good today. You were, I know, really focused as I was. And these stretches, although gentle and fluid movements like they are, they really engage your tendons and your ligaments and the fascia tissue that surrounds all of the muscles in your body. So I would encourage you to try to do this as a short workout. You know, you can cut parts of me out where I'm talking to you right now and make this a little short 30 minute workout, 25, 30 minute workout every day. If you, you may not feel a lot different today, but if you practice this on a daily or every other day basis, you will start to wake up the fascia, you'll start to, instead of the fascia being all gummed up and kind of crimped up, and instead of the tendons and ligaments being crimped up, they're going to start to loosen up to flow fluidly again, okay? That's what we're teaching them to do through these long fluid movements like this. So I hope you enjoyed it, something different. Um, trying to keep us challenged until we can all get back together again. Love you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.